whoever is new welcome to my channel and today I was in a really good mood and I was thinking I really want to do a reading on something unexpected coming your way but it's only gonna be concentrated on something positive unexpected happening to you guys and I'm gonna be looking at more or less mm, two to three months from whenever you're watching this video okay I would say up to two months okay so whenever you come across this video so let's jump into this so pile number one whoever does know i read from abstract as well i'm gonna give you intuitive cards to choose from so for pile number one we have this card over here for pile number two we have this card over here and for pile number three we have this card over here I'm gonna show you all of them at once. So we've got pile number one, pile number two, pile number three. Okay, so take your pick guys, stop the video if you need some more time and I'm gonna see in timestamps. Hi tribe, whoever has picked pile number one, this intuitive card over here, we start with your reading. So I wanna, just kind of channel before I don't want to draw any cards I feel like pile number one when I was looking at your card over here I was given such nice vibes of wanting to run free and I keep hearing that I want you know like snakes shedding its skin it's a little bit like that process that thing has started happening for you and uh, I don't know whatever it means to you guys, but it feels like you are stepping up towards your own successful self. And um, whatever steps you've taken, it seems like you can finally start seeing the light. It's something about that, you know, it's like a fresh breath of air. So if you have been mm, depressed or down lately, I feel like whenever you're watching this video you're feeling the change of vibrations and you're feeling the change of how you are and i really like this energy for pile number one in general the card that you have picked from intuitive this is talking personally to me about need for freedom need for freedom in your workplace need for freedom in your relationship need for freedom in general for you as a person so independence is a di it's a big <laughs> nearly said dick sorry it's a big thing <laughs> over here i like to laugh at my own jokes i'm sorry guys <laughs> so it's a big thing over here okay and what i'm seeing happening from now on i don't know i know that new year is coming whenever i'm doing this video but don't think that's the main thing for you guys i think what's happening here you are becoming a different self in a way and you're feeling that already whenever you're watching this video maybe you just needed a bit of a kick or confirmation that this is actually happening for you so let's take a look at i'm gonna be using the uh, texture tarot really really nice deck i'm gonna be taking a look at what it is that is gonna be happening for you unexpectedly I hope I'm not gonna ruin any surprises for anyone let's see okay okay yeah you have a wish guys this is reversed okay so this is telling me this hasn't happened yet there is a wish with a star card it seems like you have been um, watering those flowers for a while now and that wish has been on your mind for some time Hmm. I'm paying attention to, I can't quite describe this color uh, because it doesn't, it's a mixture of really bright um, orange, pink and bright red. So it becomes this very kind of um, deep coral salmon 
cherry kind of kind of color if you take a look at this bird over here that's what kind of color i'm talking about so maybe some of for some of you this is something that um means something for you sorry guys the light adjust thank you yeah and you have been expecting something happening for some time guys let me see I feel like for some of you something has happened in August already or something will happen in August it's something about this energy where you are like hmm so I'm trying to adjust the light here what is going on thank you <laughs> um, and maybe some of you I have a feeling that some of you know that something's gonna be happening at the end of August or during August and if you know about that already and you can't wait for something this is telling me that this is the wish whatever wish you have during that time coming true but um, I feel like prior this there's gonna be something else happening and let's take a look at what it is okay we have seven of cups over here let me see what else I'm paying attention to number six and number eight in the seven of cups card okay um, a lot of blue color is coming through for pile number one I feel like you are probably water lovers oh and as I said that the knight of cups fell out of my deck let me see which side is better for for you to see that you see how much blue is here how much blue is the bottom uh for me this is this knight of cups i think i like him the best out of all knights and if you look at the horse's eye it's turquoise right so i really like the energy for pile number one because it seems like your wish is to be maybe independent somehow is to be aiming for this wish um if you need a kick pile number one i don't know why i'm uh, but i think i just have to mention this take a look at youtube channel by the way it's not sponsored it's just something that i love watching take a look at the uh, youtube channel it's called uh, yes theory if you haven't yet because i feel like that's proper like your vibe um those guys are the main message that they are spreading is seek discomfort and put yourself in situations where you're gonna do anything what it takes to follow your dream to follow that star you're gonna do anything that it takes to put yourself in a uncomfortable situation so then you can learn from it and uh, that channel is really inspirational and I always try to encourage you guys here as well to try and do as many different things as you can because for pile number one I feel like this is a gate to something new something fresh and you have a really really innocent heart pile number one and use that heart use that good and sincere energy you have about yourself and i think the more you share that love with other people the more you're gonna get back okay so let's see what I, what, what we have here what we have we have the full reverse so you see what i'm talking about take that leap whatever that leap is and you will be taking that i feel like but there's gonna be a moment where you'll be like mm, i don't know I'm, I'm a bit uncomfortable when it comes to this i feel like for a lot of you you might want to share your feelings with someone and you might be fearful of that okay and you might be on the way to do so within these two to three months from whenever you're watching this video and i think it's gonna give you it's not necessarily only romantic you might want to express your uh, feelings to a friend how much i appreciate you how much you have helped me out and i would encourage you doing so for some of you that might be happening to you someone is coming to thank you for something that you have done for them previously and I feel like, again, you see, that's why I mentioned number six and eight. We have six of swords. For some of you guys, I feel like you might be... Let me tune into this a bit more. There's a lot of water energy connected to you guys. See, see that wave over there? 
That's why I kept picking that up. That's gonna be very strange. I just heard your wish will come true not too far from the water. And uh, I don't know how that relates to you guys. I don't know what that means, but maybe some of you want to move. Maybe some of you want to. It's it's not only about that, it's about lifestyle for pile number one, okay? This is the lifestyle that you might be craving for. Free lifestyle, connecting to nature, connect grounding yourself and getting away from this robotic army type of lifestyle if you know what i mean and i feel like this is something that's gonna be slowly slowly coming true for pile number one you free st spirited people i feel you're giving me a vibe of um you know those surfers in cali or uh, someone who lives in a hut by by the beach or someone who lives in a um in a caravan and maybe that's something that you would want to do maybe that's something that you want to try doing so for pile number one if that's something that you're wishing for whatever those things are that i have mentioned if one speaks to you it means that this is something that's going to be possible in the future for you okay and um you have to pile number one you have to act through love so whatever you do in life act through love and don't stop visualizing things because you are really good doing that because you connect and um it's like you 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 you're trying to be grateful for little things and continue continue do so okay because the moment you are very thankful and you're grateful for little things and you visualize and what's next to come or what is the next thing that you want to achieve is the moment when this manifestation becomes much stronger you acting from the heart you live by your heart and you wish for things that your soul craves for does it make sense so these become aligned for you all in one so i think whatever i've said before i mentioned things that you have been visualizing for some of you whatever that vision is it has a strong connection to freedom and literally maybe for some of you flying away somewhere or getting away somewhere that's the that's going to be a good thing coming for you okay let's see what else we have here we have eight of wands so for some of you it can happen a little bit quicker than uh two months from now okay that might be happening a wee bit quicker but i think this is there is something that you need to do pay attention to feathers uh there's something that you need to do in order to make this um vision of yours come quicker so ask yourself what is it that you can do in order to push it forward a bit because there's a bit of your um It's a, there is a need for act, a little bit of action from your side, okay? Not only visualizing, but a bit of touch of action from your side. So whatever needs to be done, if you want this to come quicker, guys, um, do something that's needed in order for this to come true. I mean, come on, look at this. It's all about water, isn't it? File number one. Um, this is telling me that whatever you have been interested in or whatever you have been um missing from your childhood in your life right now this is the thing that's gonna be coming true and maybe you miss doing simple things like uh, maybe you haven't seen your um family for some time or you haven't talk to someone from the past you want to talk to for a while but it's more to do with activity for pile number one and lifestyle as i said so if there is something that you have wanted to do for a really long time an experience of some sort i feel like you will be stepping into that power to and you will be able to do so finally okay i have really really nice feeling about pile number one and i really like how you are if you will plan any crazy activity of any trip hit me up because I'm that person who just likes to go somewhere, you know, unexpectedly and try new things. <laughs> so I hope this made sense file number one. Let me know if it did and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.
hello trap whoever has chosen pile number two so when looking at your card that you've chosen what i can see happening for you right now uh it seems like there was a time when you were getting a little bit too synchronicities and messages from universe okay it seems like you might have been you in general give me a vibe of someone who is um I'm getting a lot of um, strong masculine energy doesn't doesn't mean that you have to be a uh, male I'm seeing that you hold even if you're a woman a lot of masculine in you and maybe that is why it's a bit difficult for you to understand those um, out of 3d things you know sometimes you're like what the hell is going on and I think you finally stepped into energy where you're like okay i'm just gonna sit back relax and watch this whole thing unfold and uh i'm gonna try not to over analyze things i'm gonna try to go with the flow and i'm just gonna enjoy the ride okay so you've given me you've given me um a vibe pile number two of someone who is post you have you have traits of an entrepreneur if you ever wanted to be one if you ever wanted to have uh, your own business you would be a good boss pile number two okay pile number one was giving me a lot of free-spirited vibes but that was more to do with a lifestyle okay and pile number two is giving me um a vibe of someone who i feel like you want to know how things are gonna go for you in the future you're very like planned out and you're like i need to have everything in order okay and i think now is a time or it will be in the very near future when you will say you know what i'm just gonna and i don't know why i'm imagining this i imagine someone who is terrified of flying right and every time they would jump on board they'd be so stressed out sitting in that chair and thinking about oh my god oh my god i don't have control over this you know i don't trust anyone um taking me up in the air right um now the situation seems like it's gonna start changing or it has already you're gonna be able to sit down relax and actually let someone control it for you okay so it's like you're giving in you don't want to be as controlling anymore you're trying to let go and i think the moment you do is going to be the moment when you start enjoying life better than you have had before okay so it has to be an energy of light-heartedness and um an emperor type of energy that i'm feeling here put in 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 one so that's when you can be you can stay grounded and you can stay still someone who is um a bit up in the air over there you know visualizing those things but for you it's very important not to over control everything in life because you might find yourself that you become anxious you become a little bit down and this is you who is creating that uh not necessarily good energy for yourself i know that you're a perfection perfectionist pile number two it's all good it's all fine but remember when to step back and say okay i'm gonna not i'm not gonna be a teacher now or i'm not gonna be someone who is a leader now because i feel like i need to step back okay so let's get to cards sorry about talking for so long someone needed to hear this probably um let's see what is that next unexpected good thing um coming towards you what is that what is the wish that's coming true what is it what are we talking about okay let's see okay so we have um what this is i read these cards very differently guys okay what i do see happening here it seems like again it's a little bit like you are letting yourself be a different person somehow i don't know how exactly we're gonna take a look at this but um, it gives me this card gives me a feeling of someone who was in the i don't want to say that there are many people around you who are the same like you but you had 
uh, taken an image maybe of someone else is how someone else is doing things or how other people are doing things and you try to apply it to yourself for pile number two this is not going to be working in your life because you are meant to be doing things differently than other people okay and uh, I said to you before that you have leader traits and entrepreneurial traits and for me this card just confirms that in a way where you don't have to be the same beautiful flower like all of those behind you it's fine to be different it's fine to understand when it is you have to kind of let your old ego die okay so let's take a look at what else we have here what do we have what's the wish what's the wish okay okay one second i'm gonna show you cards as i speak it seems like pile number two i'll give you a little story here how you feeling for me you feel like someone who wanted to be or is a, co a boss in a company right and you're surrounded by a lot of people and you have to um go by rules and everything and there was a time and I feel like not too long ago where you understood that hey do I really want to live that life um, you know there is a book by one second I, I want to be sure that is the right one yeah that's the one i thought about so you know you know the book by robin sharma right um the monk who sold his ferrari so that's what kind of vibes you've given me if this hasn't happened just yet i feel like or maybe read this book it's amazing it's amazing amazing um i feel like a lot of you know it already anyway but um it seems like you are transitioning so the wish the vision that you had uh, maybe come up with recently this is your wish really or this you know good thing happening for you is happening with you and it's um, not as much externally we're gonna talk a little bit about this it seems like you finally took a grasp of your life and you went like hey I feel like I need better balance than i had before i feel like i need to you might have been on hold for some time pal number two okay and if you felt like life has been on hold in one aspect in your life for some time this was given to you for a reason so that you can come up with something better in your life than um it was what you had okay and uh, it seems like you have spent some time contemplating about life and the next good thing coming for you is a lot to do with ideas and money but the money will be very connected with your idea of some sorts okay so whatever the idea you're coming up with is the idea that's gonna start bringing you financial abundance and um, I really like that eight of Pentacles I read it differently in this deck this is someone who has gained all of this Oh, and it's vibing with the monk who sold his Ferrari, right? This woman um, has all of this uh, beautiful, beautiful chandelier and so many like expensive things behind her, but she doesn't care because she she's meditating. She's like, my eyes are closed. I know I have all of this, but that's not what matters to me in life. And I think a lot of you have understood that. And this is a main blessing. I feel like for you in two thousand, I keep hearing two thousand eighteen to two thousand nineteen was a time of understanding for you and in 220 you have this entrepreneurial vibe about you remember that 220 is going to be a good year for those who um have businesses and especially for those who work from their heart so it's not um a lot to do with let's say if you just care about money and you have your own business that's probably not gonna work out the best for you 
but if you are willing to um, give something to people open-heartedly so you have a quality something quality service or quality product okay this is going to start the universe will start giving you back because it's all about security for you pile number two so security is coming towards you if that's something that you didn't have for a while okay it's not only a uh, material security it's a ab abundance in general okay let's take a look what else we have here we have two of cups reversed so for me this thing i see this two of cups very differently from regular two of cups okay um look at these two um here for me, I always see this card as someone who has been giving themselves too much of a hassle in their head. And because it's reversed now, this is going to be easing off. Okay, so if you had any problems when it comes to um, positive mindset, you couldn't, you couldn't get there. Or you didn't see a light, that light will be coming towards you. And literally because of that massive chandelier. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at what else we have here. We have Knight of Wands and uh, for me this Knight of Wands is a guy who just came up with something and it doesn't matter how he's gonna get there but he's so sure that that's something that he wants to do and he's holding a massive brush behind him and that brush has this very magical uh, color and light to it. It seems like he's on on a way to do something that is creative, something that maybe ha wasn't done before. So whatever you do, pile number two, especially, this is a lot to do with business, pile number two and money, okay? Um, if you haven't started anything when it comes to you thinking about your own business or something of your own, doesn't matter what it is, okay? The thing that's the next thing coming for you that's gonna be good and I feel like you're gonna your soul will be really happy while doing that so again you start in this journey um, from your heart which will then be bringing you this abundance towards the end so guys I hope this helped out pile number two have really good energy about you um, don't get lost in synchronicities and in all the signs. I know it might be confusing sometimes. And I'm gonna hope to see you the next time. Bye for now. Hello, pile number three people. And when looking at your intuitive card over here, the one you've chosen, I can tell you that pile number three is all about fertility. Okay, so I would say... <laughs> You give me I'm gonna start with your current energy you give me a vibe of someone who is you might be pulling people sexually and you might not understand that you might think like why am I attracting all of these you know people who want to be sexual with me or people who give me those kind of awkward compliments or joke around me in a dirty way and it's um there's a lot of that magnetic sexual pull when it comes to you so remember you give me a vibe of an empress pile number three it doesn't matter you can be a ma male watching this but remember so everything that i'm saying it's gonna be it works the same way for males and females watching fertility is a big thing you are drawing people in here this is the card that you've picked that talks to me about uh children and being um sexually attracted to someone and if any of you i'm just gonna throw this out here if any of you um have been trying to have kids and you were not able to this is saying the next thing coming towards you it's probably very likely that you will get pregnant okay and um for the rest of you i'm gonna talk about it a bit later on okay what's happening here I see that you pile number three people, you are someone who is, um, you probably don't realize that sometimes, you are someone who is very adored by people you have around you and um, I think you are someone who, it's like I see a very big transition from 
I don't know why I keep seeing six years ago. So how you were six years ago and how you are now, maybe something significant happened six years ago, check that out. Maybe try to remember how you were or what happened. Um, it tells me that how you were six years ago, what happened six years ago made you who you are today. And there is a big gap between two people, how you are now and how you were back then. And uh, you give me a vibe of someone who didn't have as much self-confidence as you do now. Maybe you were... Um, you were someone who wasn't very, who wasn't proud of oneself or who wasn't, who wasn't thinking that you are worthy enough. You know, it's something about the energy of you um, giving yourself that credit now where you start finally understanding why are these people uh, drawn to me that much? Why I'm, why I'm getting these, you know, it's like little things like getting sweet messages from people sometimes thanking you for little things or people thinking of you i feel like you start you finally started seeing this if you haven't just yet you will in the near future and that's going to be one of the great things for you okay um pile number three i'm not gonna lie it's all about love okay so love vibes are very important here and I'm pretty sure I'm going to be pulling cards that will be talking about love for you. So we're going to check that out. But um, in general, I think good things coming towards you have a lot to do with love for yourself and love for, from people around you. But not in that um, sexual way. We we change in that to um, a way where there might be someone finally coming into your life who is worthy. Um those who are in partnerships, remember that whatever I'm going to be talking about to singles out here watching, this is going to be telling you that your relationship will be leveling up, okay, in the ways that I'll be describing. So I haven't even drawn cards and I'm so sure that this is this is literally like um, talking about love, but let's see. Let's see, let's see. What's happening for pile number Three. what's happening for pile number three so i'm gonna draw a couple of cards to see a journey and maybe we have any other messages that will be coming through so first card that popped out is three of pentacles that's talking about partnerships and collaborations i'm gonna try not to interpret it too much now until i get more cards around it Oh my God, sorry, these are popping. Okay. Okay, let's see what we have. We have two of wands. Let's see what else we have. We have the Queen of Cups. I'm gonna pull three more. We have the Queen of Swords. See, there is people around you guys all the time. I feel like even if you're an introvert, a lot of people appreciate you. So maybe you're coming up to that understanding. We have the Ace of Cups. Told ya. Told ya. What's up? Okay, I already see a scenario here. By the way, female will be Page of Wands. Female will be important here. Or I'm just gonna give you a traits a traits of a person, okay? Um, let me tune into them a little bit more because I see two people. One one of the people um, that I'm looking at is probably represented by you, and the other person is someone else here. Let me see. So this other person who will be influential in your life, um, not necessarily a female, but. I'm getting an energy of someone who has a soft heart. So even if you have, uh, if we're talking about a male, this is someone who probably is more towards the feminine side, okay? Not that tough, you know, cold type of guy. This is someone who has a good heart and is not afraid of showing it. So the person who we're talking about, who's gonna be influential, we're gonna see how, um, 
we have nine of wands someone who has shit loads of stamina okay someone who is not afraid of hard work someone is not afraid of challenges in life especially when it comes to physical challenges i feel like this person likes to challenge their body uh, and challenge themselves and see how far they can get in life and see how far or how how many accomplishments they can have up their sleeve okay it's something about this comp competitive energy about this person well and we have three of wands so this is someone who is always looking towards a different horizon saying where is the next place i want to travel to where is the next place i want to go to and this is already tying in for me uh because i think this is going to be the person that you will be connecting with on a soul level i feel like for some of you it's going to be longer than two to three months okay from whenever you're watching this video but i think this is something that you might need to hear it might take up to nine months okay for some of you so there is a connection happening that's going to be very light-hearted very strong and it might happen in the way where look at these two so this is telling me it's part of your story here guys okay and two of wands sits right right above the ace of cups and when i was describing this person we have three of wands and then we have nine of wands okay so there's a lot of passion happening from the beginning it starts with this um very light-hearted energy where you connect your hearts connect first and then there is passion and all of those things coming in place and we have a lot of light-heartedness too so this connection is going to be like a fresh breath of air for you guys okay and um i see when i when i tune into this energy for you guys i feel like what's gonna connect you is gonna be some kind of new endeavors or probably some kind of trip involved okay so whoever has been stuck in their living rooms for too long after work just sitting there doing the same thing all over again this is saying maybe you need to get out there in the world and explore a little bit so that you can find this person who's an explorer too okay that makes sense let me see what else about them what else about them so don't be surprised surprised if this person might come off as a little bit cold at the very beginning okay um not cold but more like guarded because this is someone who has been uh probably cheated on or who has been um treated in the wrong way in the past so don't blame them if they are going to be someone who comes off a little bit like mm, at first okay this is normal this is someone remember who has a really good heart and has a lot of stamina okay this person has a lot of passion for life in general let's take a look at what else as i told you okay so travel moving from one place to another is going to probably bring you two together it doesn't necessarily have to be travel overseas it can be little things like you leave in the house to go let's say to instead of going to the same restaurant all over again around your area you might decide to go to this restaurant uh, on the other side completely like it takes you an hour and a half to travel there you see what i mean so when i say travel for some of you it's gonna be an actual like going from one place to another it can be overseas it can be different countries maybe continents depends guys how willing you are and what it is that you are being drawn to doing because to meet this person what you have to do first is to understand that um you are going to be deciding which way do i go and the moment you i feel like you might be going with someone we have the collaboration here so it might even be a work trip for some of you for some of you it can include other people around you maybe your friends or whoever but that's more to do with work this collaboration okay so it's possible that you might meet someone on a work trip of some sorts too but it's all about deciding where do i want to go you have this massive globe over here then we have six of swords you have this hot air balloon then we have these ships and three of wands so we see what where i'm getting at um this is all about 
how how do I get to a place where this person is? And you're gonna get to this place. Let's see how. Let me see what Tarot wants to tell me. What do you need to do? And when I looked for pile number three at the time, it was twelve twelve. So maybe number three three means something to you. I keep seeing three three or twelve twelve. It's um, the time is taken from whenever I've started pile number three reading. Okay. How are you gonna, what do you need to do in order to meet this person? So whoever is in relationship, remember that maybe if you are, um, this, if there is distance between you two, emotional or physical, that's probably going to be um, coming to an end, meaning it's gonna be bringing you two together. But remember, what when I'm tuning into pile number three, I don't think it's gonna be happening within two, Two months for some of you it's gonna be happening over the period of nine months okay so just keep that in mind strength so you're gonna be able to get here the moment to get there the moment you stand in your own power and I know I always say that to you guys but that's the way it happens you know that's the way it happens you need to be fully sure of yourself that whatever it is that you're going to do next or whatever you're going to go you will not be taken down mentally or influenced mentally anyhow in your life because you are completely sure of how you're going to deal with, it, with problems or situations or in general maybe any kind of obstacles in your life so this is going to require strength from you uh, because whoever this person is, believe me, they're not going to want to be with someone who's a bit of a pussy, okay? <laughs> I'm going to just let you know. So you, in order to step up to this energy to meet this person, you're going to have to do the same, okay? So that's when two people come together and they make this unbreakable um, connection, okay? Let's see what else we have here. King of Pentacles. This is someone of a husband or wife material. Okay, so I feel like I feel like you and them are going to be. So I see, like I'm gonna tune into signs a bit. I don't usually usually do that, but I'm gonna do it for pile number three. I I see a a connection between an earth and a water sign, or between water and fire sign. I don't see any air signs here you see I see connection between maybe even earth and fire fire and water okay earth and water so all these three you know I don't see a lot of air sign energy here there is a lot of passion happening here there's gonna be a lot of open-heartedness and there's gonna be a lot of partnerships happening for pile number three especially when it comes to romantic partnerships okay so even as, as i said even if you are in a relationship this is saying you might be coming up with something that's gonna be very influential for you two as a couple in general okay and uh, it's probably something to do with collaboration so if you're in a couple you might start collaborating with someone okay with that person, or if you like someone else, there is third energy here in a good way. Okay, the three of pentacles. Um, there's a sense of for those who are in couples, a sense of a couple and a third energy who is somehow collaborating with you. And I don't know how, why this is happening, but it seems like there is an energy of good plans when it comes to good ideas and plans and project, but projects when it comes to the future okay so i hope this made sense pile number three uh, let me know if it did and i'm gonna catch you next time bye for now